I'm desperately concerned about the backsliding on the part of uh, uh, Kiev in terms of corruption. They made, I mean, I'll, I'll give you one concrete example. I, I, I was, not I, I, but it just happened to be that was the assignment I got. I, I, I got all the good ones. Uh, and uh, so I got Ukraine. And uh, um, I remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev and... Uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to the press conference, said, no, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. Well, there's still, they so want to check my shape on. Let's do push-ups together, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's do no one has said, my son, has done anything wrong, and I did not on any occasion, and no one has ever said it. Not I didn't once. say you were doing anything wrong. I you said, said I set up my son to work in an oil company. Isn't that what you said? I Get your word straight, Jack. That's what I we hear on the on MSNBC. All you don't hear that in MSNBC. No, no, you did not hear that. Look, Fab, look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It, look, it, looks, it looks like you don't have any more backbone than Trump does. I knew you weren't, man. You think I thought you'd stand up and vote for me? You're too old to vote for me. Explain the performance in Iowa, and why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? It's a good question. Number one, I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, you're, now you got to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. It was a little bit confusing in Iowa. Number one. But let's assume it was all, everything was exactly right in Iowa. The idea that. Just for you, if you win the nomination, we got to get rid of Trump. It started off fine, but Biden quickly became agitated when Fallon didn't agree to support him in the caucuses. We got to stop building and replacing pipelines. We have to go vote for somebody else. All right, thanks so much, sir. We're going to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to vote you in the general if you treat me. Yeah, I know. Well, can I have a picture? Look, you're asking a picture of me. Come in and tell me you don't support me. No, no, no. My plan. Yeah, you did. You said you I said I will support you in the general. Something by 2030. I'm actually the first surprise is that Biden told Fallon to vote for someone else. I did not expect to be told to leave, to go vote for somebody else, and then to be lectured about. And then he presses on Fallon's chest, pokes him with a finger, and finally grabs his jacket with two hands. It was not appropriate interaction for anybody. I mean, if I'd done that to him, 
the security would have been all over me. <laughs> the campaign from the house. Well, I tell you what, I'm doing. I'm I'm following the rules, man. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. He made a couple of statements. The Green New Deal is a hundred trillion dollars. That is not, not my billion. plan. That's the Green uh, well, New you want to Deal rebuild every is building. not my plan. Right. The Green New Deal will pay for itself as we move forward. But I also believe, and it's personal, and I was actually very, it was hurtful, to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. And it was not only that, but you also worked with them to oppose bus. Do you agree today, do you agree today that you were wrong to oppose busing in America then. No, Do you agree? I did not oppose busing in America. What I opposed is busing ordered by the Department of Education. That's what I opposed. Well, I there did was not a oppose. failure of, of states to, to integrate no, public schools in America. I was part of the second the, class to integrate Berkeley, the, California public schools almost two decades after Brown v. Board of Education. Because your city council made that decision. It was a so local decision. So that's where the federal government must step the, in. The that's why we have the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act. That's why we need to pass the Equality Act. That's why we need to pass the ERA, because that's there right. are moments in history where states 